I need to do this as a reply. I know I haven't done a video in a while, but I've been having a... I don't know even if you can call it a debate. Um, with this gentleman. I'm assuming he's a gentleman. He did a video a long time ago, and I did a reply. And just recently, apparently, he found my video and decided to start text comedy. And what he doesn't get is something really basic. And that is, is that if you're making a positive claim, and I'm making the negative claim, it is on the person making the positive claim to prove their claim, not the person making the negative claim. Let me give you an example. See my box? It's a beautiful little box, isn't it? Nice little box, nice little dragon design on it. There's a dragon in my box. See, it even has a dragon on the outside, so you know it has a dragon in there. I know there's a dragon in my box. And the thing is, is that I don't have to prove it to you, do I? I have to do nothing. It's now your job to disprove that there's a dragon in this box. I want you to disprove there being a dragon in this box. Okay? It has a dragon on the outside, so you know that there has to be a dragon in the box. I'll give you a second here. This is the claim that, that he's making, but with God. He's saying, I know God is real. Great. I know there's a dragon in my box. Here's the difference. No one believes that there's a dragon in my box. At all. No one believes there's a dragon in my box. Even though I have the box. See, the box is right here. You know, like I said, there's a picture of a dragon in it. So it has to be real, right? It's not. Just like with the Bible, just like with any other holy book, the holy books are no more than a box with a dragon on it. No more, no less. See the dragon? This is as much a proof of there being a dragon in the box as the Bible has for the proof of God. As I've tried to explain to this gentleman before, if we went to court and you tried making a claim that something existed, it is on you to prove that it exists, not me. And it's not my job to disprove what you're claiming is real. It's not. That's not how it works. What you're doing is a logical fallacy. Okay? Something that we have been trying to point out for a long time. And I even tell you right here, burden you know, the, bur um, the burden is on the one making the claim, not the one who says it's not real. Okay? It's called arguing from ignorance. Look it up. 
I can't argue from ignorance. I'm saying you I'm saying it's not real. Prove it to me. And what you're saying it is real, now you disprove it. You can't disprove a negative. You are stuck in this I mean I, I love how you sit here and try belittling me by saying, you know, answer the fucking question, dude. You know, who put this video on here claiming God doesn't exist? Doesn't you know? Don't try, try to change the subject. It's not changing the subject. It's not changing the subject. The my the thing I did with my comment about the dragons was exactly the same damn thing you did when you're claiming God to be real. Okay. I can't, you know, get you know. Mm. I couldn't give two fucks if you have a Martian friend. But see, that's the point. That's the fucking point. You are claiming that something is real. I'm saying bullshit. Now it's your job to prove me wrong. You know, and then you go on. Boy, you're nothing but, you know, but an uneducated, thick skulled idiotic bigot. How the fuck am I a bigot? I don't give a fuck if you, you know, if you, you know, have, you know, have God in your life. I have, if everybody I live around, I live a house that has nothing but religious iconography. And I really don't give a fuck. But when you come on a place like YouTube and make a claim like that, you better be able to back it up. But you can't. So you know what? You're pathetic. You want to call me uneducated? No, I spent a good chunk of my life trying to find if God was real or not. And you know what? He's not. God is as real as my dragon. Have fun with that.